Welcome back to the Paul Rhodes Show. One of the uh, neat things about uh, this weekend was the opportunity for the 1959 Dirty 30 team, one of the great teams in Iowa State history, to come back and celebrate a 50-year anniversary. Jeff Grummer has that story. The 2009 Cyclones weren't the only Iowa State team to take the field on Saturday because after 50 years, the Dirty 30 was back. In 1959, the Dirty 30 captured the attention of the nation. Coached by Clay Stapleton and led by All-American halfback Dwight Nichols and fullback Tom Watkins, Iowa State overcame the odds, finishing 7-3. A remarkable accomplishment for a small squad with a big heart. Here's some Dirty 30 memories from Coach Clay Stapleton and another member of the Dirty 30, former Ohio State coach John Cooper. We were tough, hard-nosed. And Matter of fact, the sign going out of the locker room when you went out on the field through these doors past the hardest nosed football players in all the world. And I think I, th I think that was true. I think we were tough and hard nosed and well coached and certainly disciplined. We were tough coaches. We demanded. We had to to bring these kids along in a very, very tough Big Eight conference. I mean, you had to pay the price to play on that team. And back in those days, you put the pads on every day of practice. You went out and you scrimmaged for two and a half hours. And as I recall, they put a sign on the board, those that stay will be champions. Captain Dwight Nichols and his Dirty 30 gave them a real show. Dwight Nichols was a great leader on that football team. I mean, I, I coached for 39 years and had some great players and some great teams. I never coached a, a, a player that was any tougher than Dwight Nichols. Or, or that loved the game, or was more dedicated, or gave more of himself to the game of football than Dwight Nichols. Well, I had 30 kids, and some of those kids played 60 minutes. They made themselves. They were a great group of kids. Toughness on the field and Cyclone pride all around. A tradition that lives on today. I'm Jeff Grummer reporting for the Paul Rhodes Show.